Hi, this is Candy. We just are walking back to our hotel from the U.S. consulate. Unfortunately, we talked to a consulate officer. He was so sympathetic, but only to a point. He basically said there was nothing he could do to help us or would do to help us. Sadly, I think the bottom line is if you get one of these totally unfair tickets by someone who claims to be a ticket inspector, you have to pay the bribe or you suffer the consequences. And you just have an unpaid debt in this country and presumably that's going to multiply over time. Right. It's, it's incredible to me. I thought if you tell the truth, you go get the police, you tell the truth, everything will be okay. It's not the case here in Prague. Yeah, they can care. extort money out of you and more and more money and there's nothing really you can do about it. The police won't help you. The embassy yeah, won't help the you. The embassy won't help you. So we really just want other travelers to know because it's ruined two days of our vacation so far, and we've gotten no help with this. So we just have to try and put this behind us and see if we can get the rest of it. But sadly, I'm here on the Charles Bridge. This is really colored. The whole thing for me. I don't even want to be here. All of this beautiful architecture and statues, and it's like this corrupt place where. There's nobody here to help you. It's sad. We're afraid that we're not going to be able to leave the country when we go to leave because we have all these debts. You know, they just keep creating more tickets or whatever unless we pay out the bribes with them trying to extort us. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm back on. I've composed myself. The reason we're doing this video, though, is because we really want other travelers to know. I, I had just arrived at the airport. I wasn't here for half an hour before this mess happened. Other travelers with kids and big backpacks like I had to stay here for a month, just so you know, they're looking out for you on that bus. They want to nab you if you don't get that bus ticket into the machine quickly enough to validate it. Even though you've paid for a bus ticket, it doesn't matter. You were legally on that bus until you validate it. And those ticket inspectors who work for Prague are looking for you to see if they can extort some money out of you and ruin your vacation. So we believe that the driver was in on it. Like we were struggling, we hit all the bags, and we get on, and he hits the he hits the gas pedal, and we're falling over. So I'm like, and I'm trying to. So with us, like you put your butt in the seat, in Chicago, if you're, the bus is driving like extremely fast, because you're gonna you're gonna get killed, like you're gonna break your leg or whatever. So that now we kind of understand that he was hitting the gas so that we couldn't validate the ticket in the machine fast enough so that the guy could fine us. So you know. I already broke my finger trying to move too fast. So I'm on this speeding bus. Adam doesn't want to see me hurt myself. So he jumps up to try and help me. He gets the ticket into the machine, but that wasn't fast enough for the inspector. So then I said, like, yeah, you hold the bags from flying down the aisles and everything and flying all over the place, you know. They don't, they don't care. So and then I'll validate it. And then he was like, no, it's too late. And he's, like, physically grabbing my hand to stop me from validating the ticket. This is, this is like... 20 seconds after we got on the bus. So, so apparently you have like one second to validate your ticket. There was other people at the front of the bus who hadn't paid and he was working his way like with, with them and he was like, and then he like, uh, he quick rushed, he's like, ka-ching. He sees like, oh, I could get so much more money out of these people, you know, like, right. so he let all the locals <laughs> like go. And I, I questioned him at the end, I was like, so what happened to them? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, he was just like all shifty eyed, but. Right. I don't know if it's just because we're Americans or it's all foreigners that these... Well, you get a lot more bribe. You know, like I think someone else's hands them like, you know, right. a 50 kroner note and that that's it. But to us, he's, you know, but, it's up to 3,000. But we tried to talk to the police. Police didn't help. We went to the consulate. They didn't help. So we want you guys to know, if you come to this city, this can happen to you. And you have no recourse. What? I, I'm an attorney. I have to hire an attorney and prod... And, and the other thing is there's no due process. So I'm given a, I'm, I owe now the city of Prague. How much? I owe them $150. There's no court date. There's no nothing. It keeps I, changing. It keeps going up. He's like, oh, I'm a nice guy. No I'll just find what, if you hand me, this. nudge, nudge, wink, wink, if you give me right. $50 cash right now, then then you can save all this money. Yeah, it's just like all these threats. Otherwise, it's going to go increase more and more. And yeah. Right. And, so I have to pay this money. Or now I have I owe a debt. How do I? I'm not paying it. I'm not paying extortion. That's ridiculous. There's no due process here. How do I challenge this? I don't challenge it. Yeah, we see this happening online, and I haven't seen anybody 
I'm, I'm stand up, stand up to them. I'm, I'm not doing it. <laughs> and then so. people were happy. Like these fake ticket inspectors are like hated and stuff. And people were so happy that we're like, did you give them the money? Like, no, like, yes. Did you sign the papers? Like, no, I refuse to sign right. so, over so the we things. Talked to, <clears throat> so we went in and we talked to the people in our hotel. Same thing happened to them, but they paid it. Her we parents. went in and talked to the information office here, just by the Charles Bridge. Explained the situation. The guy said, oh, same thing happened to me. I just paid the guy cash. So oh. that seems to be what everybody does here. They just pay the bread. They just right. pay it cash. Because it's easier it to lose the ninety dollars than lose like days of your vacation yeah, so cost you hundred. So nobody vacation. wants to be inconvenienced by by fighting them. So yeah, just every group of tourists that comes off out of there, like Candy hadn't slept all night or whatever, so just like a little slower, you know. Right. And you're so, a huge target. So I come in, I've flown all night with a screaming baby on the flight. I will say that the people on La Polish Airlines were wonderful. That was the best part of this trip so far, I was La Polish. But from the minute I've gotten in Prague, it's been nothing but a disaster. I, and the Charles Bridge is beautiful, but it's not worth it. And we did purchase pictures. the tickets correctly, and we did validate the, t the tickets oh. correctly. So then he's just, he can just lie and say we didn't do it. To extort right. money out of us, so that's like what that's what we're saying. We did everything correct. We did everything. We bought the bus tickets. We paid money, but you are presumed to be on a bus illegally until you validate that bus ticket. What kind of a system is that? And then they did everything they could to stop us from validating. Like they made us fall over by hitting the accelerator. Right. So for two eighty. Oh, this racket. For two eighty cent bus tickets that we paid for, we now owe like one hundred fifty dollars, and that right. probably will go up over time. Uh, so we'll do more videos to let you know as we get collection letters from the city of Prague. And it's like the threat of like a black mark in your passport or not being able to get aboard the flight when you this leave. This is the worst travel experience I've ever had, and I've been to, how many countries have you been to, honey? 144. And I've been to probably around 50. So Prague is one of the worst one cities worst I've ever been to in my life. Ever. Right. I can't wait to leave this city. And there's beautiful buildings, yes. Beautiful statues, yes. But there's a lot of beautiful places in Europe where they're actually nicer to you. And they're nicer to Americans. So Yeah, they're uh, really rude people here. Just really Yeah. And there's uh this isn't the only scam. There's like apparently they try to scam people all over with all sorts of different kind of rackets with things. It's been extremely and you know, they try to so what I wanna say is Please don't pay out to don't these people. Everybody just pays out. I refuse to pay. You don't have to pay. Like, like give these people a hard time. Don't make it easy. Everyone is just like quickly hands them the cash out of their pockets because they want to be on their way. You know, like this is too fast. It's like, don't do it. Make it more difficult for them. Right. Then so they just keep doing it they because then it encourages them. Yeah. If someone just like as fast as you can, you're pulling money out of your pocket and giving it to that guy. He gets on the next bus and does it to the next group of people, and the next, he's making tons of money, extorting money out of people. Don't do it. So at like, least we wasted his time, him and his partner. So I'm 59-year-old women with a huge backpack. I've got four men. Two of them are police with the whole riot gear. You know, they've got the billy clubs, like, I'm going to hurt anybody. <laughs> But I'm glad we wasted their time. And we have his picture, which we'll show. And they didn't talk to us. They, didn't do they just walked away. They just walked. The police did so nothing to help us. The police, we showed them that we had validated tickets, which means that we're innocent. <laughs> right. And they could, have, they could have helped us. But they didn't. They could have stuck up. They could have done what's right. They just turned around and walked away. Right. Because they don't care. They, so, either they don't like Americans or... Right. I don't know. I don't know what it means. They didn't talk to us at all. They didn't help. Right. They didn't do anything. So they just, just turned their backs and walked away. If you come to Prague, you may end up in the same situation where you're being extorted or you have something, you're being treated unfairly. You go to the police, no help. You go to the consulate, no help. So I just want you to know that. Thanks Be for watching. Careful.